Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley, and today we're going to be discussing my favorite horror movies. With Halloween coming up, or just the fall season, one of the best things is watching scary movies. So I thought I would share some of my favorites. Um, no particular order from favorite to least favorite. And I might have some different opinions than others do on certain movies and my level of what I think is scary and whatnot. It's probably going to be different than, again, most people. So, yeah. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. And you may or may not be crooked. It kind of looks like it from my angle, but I can't, I don't, I can't fix it. So, uh, we'll work with it, right? So, first up. It's going to be on a VHS tape because this isn't even mine. It was my brother's, I believe, were teenagers. So it's Scream. Yep, a VHS. Some of you might not know what this is, but this is what we used to have to use. Is this even the right movie? Yeah, okay. Cool. Reading it backwards, it says. Oh, it's, look, it's even rebound for the most part, guys. Not, not the whole way, but man, look at that. But no, I think this is really good. Um, I love this movie, and Wes Craven is a genius in my mind. Well, you know, one of them. And this was original. I don't know if anyone knows. I'm sure a lot of people do. It was supposed to be like a spoof movie, kind of like scary movie was or something. But it actually ended up being like pretty scary. So it's not like, I mean, no movies. I think all but two. No mo scary movies have ever given me like nightmares or made me afraid to sleep or anything like that and so but it's still really good it's a classic so I like it a lot next I'm gonna do Hostel and it's gory it's good though uh, definitely makes me scared to travel go figure but again no nightmares or anything I still plan on traveling slash I do travel so yeah but it's really good and it's I mean, oof. I know some of my friends who like, do like scary movies can't watch it because it's so, like, graphic. So, but you, again, it's a classic. Like, it's been out since mid-2000s, I believe. And if you have not seen it, you need to. It's really good. And then next, I'm going to be talking about The Collector. And this is one of the movies I hardly hear anything about. Never. I mean, me and my friends just happen to be walking around, I believe, Walmart. That's where we used to always get our movies. And just happened to find it. I think it was on sale for like $7 or something. And we bought it and it's really good. It's just a kind of a different concept than most like scary. Like, you know, because they all kind of get redundant after a while. Same kind of concept. And this one's just a little different. So I highly recommend this because it is just a bit different. And it kind of gives you a little bit of everything. It gives you like a little bit of like the, like the jump scares. And it gives you a little bit of that gore. And it's, I like it a lot. It's good. And then next, now this isn't really like scary, but it was to me whenever I first watched this movie. It's more sci-fi. I just realized I'm not wearing mascara, but it's fine. Um, but I actually, I really enjoy this movie. I still enjoy it. I find it so fun to watch. I mean, it's not scary, but it's AVP, Alien vs. Predator. And I actually just really like it. Um, some people consider it scary, some people just consider it sci-fi, and... I don't really care what you consider it. I really like this movie. To me, I classified it as scary or horror or suspense or whatever. So all in the same idea context, but I really enjoy it. And you can keep your nasty opinions about it to yourself because there's a lot of, like, I've heard a lot of, like, negative things about that movie and I really like it. <clears throat> We're going to go up with another classic. And I actually, I don't own all my favorite movies, but I actually own, like, a bit more than I expected to, so this might be a little longer than I anticipated. I was going to have like 10. I have a little bit more than that. Uh, but next is another classic that's Urban Legend. And I mean, it's, I mean, hopefully you understand what it's about just by the title. It's just about going over like urban legends and like playing out and stuff. And it's really good movie. I think, again, it doesn't, I'm sure for the time, like the early 90s, it was really good. But, you know, nowadays we have all the CGI, all this technology and stuff. It's very different, but it's super interesting. And, I mean, if I would have watched this when I was younger, I didn't start really watching scary movies until I was like 13-ish. Maybe a little later, maybe a little earlier. Um, but I, because I used to be 
terrified. My mom would make me terrified. I blame her for a lot whenever I'm scared of things. Um, but if I would have watched this when I was younger, I, mean, I definitely would have been scared, but it doesn't take much to make me scared. I'm going to go in with like another one that's not really scary. It's more suspense, but I actually really like this movie and it's Disturbia. And, you know, we heard a lot about this whenever it first came out because that probably because it had Shia LaBeouf in it, but I actually really like this a little different or, I mean, it's kind of different because you don't really see like the whole it's not really peeping Tom, but you know what I mean? Like, you're looking at your neighbors, and, you know, you're seeing creepy stuff. Like, you don't really see movies like that. Not like it's a huge different concept. It's a little different than most, you know? So, I actually really enjoy it. Again, it's more suspense, not scary or anything. But still really good. Still really worth the watch. Really like this movie. I thought I lost this movie, and I'm really excited for the fact that I didn't. I actually rewatched it not that long ago, and I still really enjoy watching it. Um, next I'm gonna go with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I do have the original one from the late 70s, um, but I prefer this one for more technology reasons, and I haven't seen, has Leatherface even come out yet, the newest one? I don't, either it just came out recently or hasn't come out yet, but, because I haven't heard very good things about it. Um, if you've seen it, or plan on seeing it or whatever, let me know your opinions down below, because I'm interested. But this is like the mid-2000s, like 2003, I believe, has like Jessica Biel in it. But I prefer this one. This is the scariest one to me I've been, that I've seen of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So really good. I do know the classics because I'm all about owning the classic movies. But in terms of like being scared, this one makes me more scared. And has better graphics and stuff than this, you know, the other one, of course. That's to be expected. Um, I'm just trying to decide which one I want to talk about next. I'm trying to save, like, my top faves, even though I already talked about one. Nah. Oh, well. Uh, for, like, the end. Um, we'll do... Okay, we'll do this one next. It's fine. The Shining, which everybody should have seen. And if you haven't, please go see it. Again, it's a classic. Again, it's not super scary to me, but... In this day and age, it's not just about that. It's about, you know, the qual it's, you know, the quality and what you're expecting to get out of a movie. And if I would have seen this also when it first came out, it would have been terrifying. It is kind of, I mean, it's creepy. Like, I know they're doing a house on this for Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando and Hollywood, I believe. If not, I know Hollywood for sure. Oh, scary noise. I 100% believe in spirits, guys, by the way. This is the whole, like, not about that, but... I have a lot of dead relatives, and I think they like to creep me out because I get scared easily. Yeah. The Shining is really good. It's, again, a classic. If you have not seen it, please go see it. It's great. I'm not a fan. I did re I did hear about, you know, what happened behind the scenes for the main woman actor and everything. I'm not a fan of that, but that's in the past, and I still really like the movie. And one of the movies I was going to bring up, but I didn't actually own it, is Jeepers Creepers. And that is because I know the whole, like, what the director and stuff has done. And I wish I wouldn't have known that. I wish I didn't know that. I mean, I'm glad I do. But I really like the Jeepers Creepers movies. And it sucks that director has to be such a creep and stuff. But the second Jeepers Creepers is in one, in one of my favorites. I mean... I really like it and it makes me upset that there are, you know, because there's some just some creepy people in this world and unrelated, but I mean, I really like Jeepers Creepers movies, so it just sucks the director is, sorry about that, it is just like that. So moving on, we'll talk about Saw 2 specifically. I like the first Saw and I like the rest of Saw, they used to be really into them, but now that I've gotten older, I've gotten more sensitive to gore, I'll put. So when I was like in high school, I bought all these movies, I have all of them except for the last one. And I am excited to see the new one come out. I just can already imagine how much I'm going to want to throw up. But specifically the second one, I actually really, really like. Uh, I don't really know why I like this one more than the first one. I definitely like it more than the third one. Those are the three I've seen the most. The third one just really gets me with that pig scene. Oof, it really gets me. But yeah, I really like this movie. I like the whole concept. It's just cool how they like, you know, that one girl. I don't want to ruin it just in case everyone's, no one's ever seen it. But the one girl comes back and it's just really cool you know I, it's definitely worth a watch I mean at least this one and this, the first one and this one like to me are the best and I do like the fifth one I believe the fourth or the fifth one um, I really do like that one as well 
Um, we'll do this one next. Time in the Woods. And again, this is meant to be like one of those, I don't know if anyone's known, but like, kind of like making fun of horror movies, like a spoof one. Um, but it's really good. I didn't like it the first time I watched it. And then after Shane, my boyfriend, explained it to me, I was like, oh, well, that makes, you know, more sense. Because I'm one of those people in horror movies and in real life, like one of my best friends is so, she's a Sagittarius and she's very much her sign. Like she just goes and doesn't care. Like we were walking in the woods the one day at night while we were coming back from hiking at night and she heard like a branch break in the distance. She's like, oh, hold on. I'm just going to go check that out. And I'm like, no, you're not. We're going to go to the car and li leave alive. And I was like, haven't you ever seen Blair Witch Project? And she's like, no. And I was like, well, you need to because then you won't do that anymore. But it's just like, I hate when people do that. Like, I hate when they hear a sound, they're like, oh, let me go check that out. Or, you know, things like that. It's like, no, you go the opposite direction. You you leave so you can be safe. And that, like, so that's why I don't like this movie at first. I'm very much against that. I hate when I let people make the dumbest choices. Um, but it, after that was explained to me, I did enjoy it a lot, a lot more. Um, so I definitely recommend, so if you didn't know that it was like that and you didn't like it the first time, watch it a second time knowing that, and I think you might enjoy it a little bit more, at least I did. And I just forgot another movie that, oh my gosh, wow, I'm really mad at myself. Okay, well moving on. Um, this one isn't great, but the reason why I'm showing this is because, I don't know if anyone else has, I brought these up just for reference. If you're into like really bad scary movies that you know to laugh at and stuff like that, cheesy ones, me and my friends used to go to Walmart every Friday or Saturday night. We hung we hung out every weekend in high school and we'd buy like the five dollar packs of like, you know, this one has twenty and it was five dollars. This one has four, it was five dollars. Most of these movies suck. Okay? But one of those twenty ones, it wasn't this one, but it had this movie that my boyfriend happens to own separate. I'm using it in it, and this is actually pretty good, so I'm only <laughs> saying this, because it is pretty good, I mean, it's not the scariest thing, but it's definitely interesting, and it doesn't make you, like, laugh crazy, on a crazy amount, but, you know, always check these out from Walmart, like, you can, I mean, this has 20 movies in it, and even if you only get one good one, it was $5, you can't beat that, and if you like the bad, scary movies, the cheesy ones, you have 19 other ones, and some of these might have been good, like, I think two of these are good, like, Salvage and Fear on here. I believe are pretty good. Like I, don't, I haven't watched this in a really long time. Now that Netflix is such a thing now and everything. But yeah, so I just wanted to shout this one out for being in a $5 movie box and being actually really good. Um, Next. We'll do this one. So White Noise was one of the first scary movies I've seen. Um, the Grudge but in the Boogeyman were my first two. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the one I showed you guys, that was one of my first ones, and Scream were one of my first ones. But to actually watch the full way through, this was like my third one. And I never hear anyone talk about this, ever, ever, ever. And I actually think it's really cool, and it's probably more suspense, and I haven't watched it in a while because this movie really hit a chord with me. Because I watched it like somewhat soon after my Pat Pat passed away. And I don't know if anyone knows the concept of this movie, but it's kind of like, communicating with the dead and how they try to communicate with you and it's more than that because there is like really creepy so I'd say it's more suspense but if you're interested in like things like that and I haven't seen really movies about this of course they're probably out there just you know haven't heard of them or seen them but I actually do really like this movie again I haven't watched it in a while but I never hear anything about it and I wish I did because I do really like it and I do it has a space in my heart I guess just because and I really do believe, like, how people try to communicate you with you from the dead. Like, I can no longer listen. Like, I don't know if anyone knows what white noise is, but it's, like, the static on the TV or, like, on a radio or something. So it's just, ooh, it's really creepy because, you know, I used to, if it came on, you know, after, like, a, a VHS would be over, it'd be no big deal. But <sighs> no longer for this girl, I can tell you that. Um, so next we'll do this one, and it's more, again, it's more of a shout out, because it's not, like, terribly scary, but it's definitely good, <clears throat> and it's Unfriended, and there is another movie coming out, wait, what's it called, Friend Request, it's kind of, it's, but actually, no, it's not, because that's, like, involves real life, so this is, like, about, like, this girl, like, they, these people, this one girl, one of their friends died, 
and is now like coming after them in a way because they did something bad and again I don't want to give like too much away because I mean I could be reading the back but this video is already 15 minutes long and I still have like six movies to say guys plus if I remember the last one I'm thinking of because I'm really mad I can't remember it right now but this one's really good so check it out um again it's not terribly scary but if you're into watching horror movies and you feel like you need a new one to watch and you happen to not see this one I really like it and I have seen it a couple times and I do think it's pretty interesting. Next is going to be your next. And again, I didn't hear anything about this movie. Like I don't remember seeing it go out in theaters, which it might have. But again, it's one of those movies that me and my friends were just walking around Walmart and happened to pick it up. And if you're a fan of the Saw movies, this is it kind of reminds me of that in a way. Or The Stranger, if you've seen that, it also reminds me of that in a way. Kind of like a mixture. Maybe not so much Saw, but it kind of reminds me of that. Um, but I definitely recommend. Kind of cool concept. Twist ending. Unless you're really good at predicting movies, because like, I predicted it. But if you don't, are really bad at predicting, it's kind of like a twist ending. Um, I'll do this one just because it's a classic. And again, I am wearing my Freddy vs. Jason shirt. And I know I said this in my previous video. But Freddy is my man. He's my main man. We have a very similar humor case, so I just think he's hilarious. But it's the Nightmare on Elm Street fran franchise, and I have all the movies, and they came in these. And again, how much was this from Walmart? Five dollars, guys. And classic. If you heard that, that was my dog. He was laying right next to me today. But yeah, the first one, obviously my favorite. I was pointing the wrong way. <laughs> the first one. And the Dream Master, the fourth one. I always think it's one that's going to be the third, but the Dream Master is like my second favorite. And again, they're not scary anymore now that we're I'm older and it's been out for a long time. But it's an absolute classic. And we all don't want to talk about the remastered version. And I'm not a fan of it either. But I heard rumors that they're coming out with a new one. And I, I'm one of those people that I love. Like, It. It's going to be in this movie. I don't have it, obviously. But It is in my, one of my favorites. Like, the new one. I love when they make movies almost the exact same, the same verbatim, ver verbiage and stuff, but they they make it a little different and then they add valuable things to the movies. This didn't do that for me, like the, the remastered version, and that's what I want. Whenever they remake a movie, I want them to do the exact same thing, updated stuff to make it more scary for people my age who didn't grow up with this to be scared. And then add different things to it. Like, I liked the idea they were going with, making Freddy a little bit scarier and stuff. But, I mean, the whole charmness of Freddy and the movies of him being so sarcastic because it's more sadistic that way that he's, like, just laughing and killing people rather than that, you know, what that guy was. And I feel bad, but, you know. Um... Okay, now we're going to get into, like, one of my t my faves movies. I was going to, okay, I'm just going to throw these out there just because, again, if you like bad, scary movies or cheesy, scary, I cannot believe this movie's going to, this movie, this video's going to be 20 minutes long. I'm so sorry. I should have just done a top 10, but I really didn't think it was going to be this many. Um, if you like cheesy, scary movies, I got these, Death Knows Your Name and Fear.com. Me and my friends went up to a blockbuster that was going out of business and got these for, like, I think $2 a piece or something. They suck, but if you're into cheesy, scary movies, you're probably going to like them. So I just wanted to throw those in there because they might be on Netflix or something. Speaking of Netflix, oh my gosh, is it on Netflix? I don't know, but guys, have you? I th I was, if it's not on Netflix now, it was last year, The House is October Built. I recommend that movie. And that's not even the movie I was thinking of, but that is a good movie and it, it's good. I highly recommend it. It's about people going to all these scary, house, scary houses, haunted houses, um, and trying to find the best one, but recommend it. So next, I'm going to do, the thing is, okay, it's not going to be in any particular order. Like, I'll save my absolute favorite for last. Um, but Sinister, I like this movie. It's really good. It's really creepy. This one legitimately scares me. Like, in the theaters, it scared me. So I really like it. It's good. So, and it, everyone better have seen this movie by now, or at least know about it. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, next is going to be, so this is technically my second favorite, I think. Um... But I'm saving this other one because, again, I don't feel like people don't talk about it. But The Conjuring, this is one of the ones that actually, like, legitimately creeped me out. I once they gave me nightmares, they made me, like, a little bit more scared to sleep and stuff. So, so I'm all about, I mean, true story. 
slow, it's gonna kick me out more. Okay. And again, I'm spending much time on it because we're 20 minutes in and you should know about it. Next, Dead Silence. And this is easily my top five, so it's probably my fifth favorite, but it really is my first for not being terrifying, like, which makes me scared. I guess it's probably number fifth or something. This movie is so good. So good. And again, I bought this for like $5 at Walmart with my friends. Didn't hear anything about it. I still never hear anything about it. The only person I know that has seen it, besides like my friends that we watch, all watch together, is my boyfriend. And I've talked to many of people about scary movies. And this one is so good. I didn't hear anything about it. And apparently Universal did, did do a haunted house in it whenever it came out. But I didn't really pay too much attention to, like, to Universal back then. Back then. But, I mean, guys, where is all the knowledge of this? Why wasn't there, like, a second one, maybe? I mean, I know, I guess. I'm not going to give away the end. But, still. Really good movie. If you have not seen it, please watch it. My friend, the one who's not scared to go look and see if a branch breaks the pitch black in a wood, the woods, was scared of this movie. And that's because she doesn't like dolls. So if you're afraid of dolls, but you still like, you know, freaking yourself out, watch it. It's really good, guys. It's It gets not enough hype. It's so good. It's really good. I love it. And last but not least, my favorite scary movie. And this is the first one I saw in theaters on my 13th birthday with my mom and one of my best friends at the time. And that is The Strangers. And I have been waiting for the second one. It's apparently coming out next year now. I don't know. I've been hearing rumors that it's been coming out for like three years now. I hope there is. This movie freaked me out. And I was 13 when I saw it. And But it still freaks me out now. Like, this is why I don't open my door. Like, apart, I mean, I never did. And my mom always told me not to. But this is exactly why. Like, you don't open your door for people you don't know, guys. You don't. And I never will. I'm going to raise my children that way, and that sucks. But again, based off a true story or true events, but watch it if you have not seen it. It is so good. Please. It's so good. Did not get enough hype, in my opinion. Like, when we saw it, I believe it was opening weekend. I think it was on a Sunday, though. And I don't remember seeing a lot of people in the theaters. And maybe I got more hype after that. I wouldn't know. You know, I was 13. And God, that's been 11 years now. 11 years, so it's been a while, but man, this movie, 11 years, and they're kind of coming out with a second one. Holy crap, but it's really good, and I really hope they come out with a second one. Of course, I hope the second one doesn't suck, because sometimes movies do that. Um, So I have yet to remember that other movie I was thinking of, guys, and I know some people are going to think of it. My boyfriend will when he watches this. No, Insidious is not in here. And Insidious is a good movie, and the reason why I didn't include it in here is not one of my favorites. All these movies in here I like for one reason or another, and Insidious is different. But it's not one of my favorites. I don't get too much enjoyment out of watching it, so that's why. I mean, I watch it because it's Shane. It's one of his favorites, but it's not up there for me. The Conjuring and Sinister around the same time were so good, and I felt like they got overshadowed by, overshadowed by Insidious, so... I mean, that's not why I don't like it, but it's just not one of my faves. And I really don't like what they're doing with the new ones, too. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm ready for it to be over. I love that actress. I love her, but I'm ready for it to be done. So, if I think of the other movie I'm trying to remember right now, I will put it in the district room box by, down below because I believe it's really good. And if it's not really good, I'm not even going to bother, but I'm really mad I can't remember it. Oh, well, Friday the 13th. Well, I mean, it's not like they're really scary, but the classic, I do love Jason. He's my second, I think. It's really hard to choose, but yeah. So I'm just going to throw it out there. I really like Friday the 13th movies. Again, classic. If you haven't seen it, maybe I'll do like a whole video since it's 25 minutes long of like classic movies that aren't like, I mean, this one's scary, I think, even still. I have the video game. I enjoy it. It's really cool. Um, but maybe I'll do like a whole video of like classic horror movies, like The Burning, Sigourney Camp, like stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. We'll see because I haven't seen too, too many of them, but I do think they need to be more, they need to be resurfaced a little bit, you know? Um, but again, if you just watched, sit, th sat, oh my God, through this 25 minute video, good for you. You get brownie points, bonus points, gold stars for days. I am so sorry it took so long. I did not realize the amount of movies I liked. I didn't. Um, but Again, till next time, guys. If you have anything you'd like me to review or anything like that, purchase, a haul, or whatever, 
Um, let a girl know down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.